We've got Jamie Pandit with us. And Jamie, first of all, give me your dress. And <laughs> it is so <laughs> lovely to meet you. Um, tell me a little bit about what sleeves have meant for you. For sure. So nice to meet you, Tracy. Now, I'm going to have to be honest with you here. I have an arm complex being a transgender woman. And I have tried every sleeve out there possible. I used to wear a blazer, a cardigan to hide my arms. But I also know that women in general, you know, face um, issues and struggle with their arms. So mm. when this trend started, let me tell you, I was so happy back in 2017. And of course, I had to participate and try every single sleeve possible out there. I think that's amazing when the trend catches up to what you like. Like, yes. I like a high-waisted, wide-leg pant, and it's like, oh, it's on trend. I can find it everywhere. And I will also echo, so many of our viewers have had issues with their arms. Like, yes. a lot of women have issues with their arms. So it's nice to get stylish pieces that aren't going to make it look like you're just wearing a box. Exactly. And what arm. I love about this is that, you know, trends obviously come and go, but... Uh -huh. Puff sleeves and balloon sleeves especially are here to stay and we can all feel like princesses basically. Absolutely. Okay, let's start with her. So we're talking princesses. She's in her <laughs> leopard stripes, her yes. animal print. She looks great. Well, this print is obviously very on trend, but yes. I love the balloon sleeve. And the thing about the balloon sleeve is that it is quite voluminous. And I yeah. do find that, you know, it is a lot of fabric, but it actually does an amazing job minimizing your arms. Is that something you're self-conscious about? And this fabric is also great because it's lightweight, it moves with you, it's airy, and this dress is just amazing on any body type. Absolutely. And this is one size fits all? It is. That's incredible. And you can wear it through different ways, as a cardigan, as yeah. a top, or as a dress, belted, unbelted. It's amazing. It's by Erica P it. uh, Pinia. Very nice. Okay, can we talk about the cotton candy dream we have happening here? Yes. This looks, it's such a fun piece. It is so cute. Walk us through what's happening with their sleeves and the whole nine. This dress is my personal favorite in my closet. I brought my whole closet with me today. Why, thank as you. can you. see, <laughs> right? <laughs> and this is totally just like the colors are beautiful. Obviously, the style is so versatile, but it's the sleeves. Yes. So it's very like Shakespearean vibe, Romeo and Juliet. The puff sleeve is what we call it now. You can, you know, move it up or down depending on, you know, how you want to style it. So for me, I personally don't like my elbow, so I like mm. to kind of cover that part. But I mean, if you didn't really care about that, you can totally have it up. Yeah. And the puff would just be more exaggerated. Absolutely. So you can go down, go up. But what I love is that waistline. So yes. if we're talking about inclusivity, if you're having a baby, this is a fantastic dress to wear and exactly. show off the gams. Okay, so let's move along. She's got uh, this gorgeous tangerine dream happening here, and there's a lot happening with the yes. shirt and the <laughs> sleeve. Yes. Walk us through that, Jamie. For sure. So this is an H&M Studio Spring Summer collection um, from that. And what I love about this is obviously the ruching. So that's the yes. statement sleeve. And ruching is basically done um, through a ripple effect by gathering and pleating the fabric a certain way. Mm -hmm. And what I love about this again is that when you're wearing like a fitted sleeve, it does tend to cling on to your arms. Where the ruching, um, it minimizes it by the detail obviously. And it's such a cool aspect of a top, right? Yeah. This side too is obviously more fitted, but what I love about this is that it is printed, meaning yes. that it's going to still minimize and distract your eye from mm. the size of your arms. That's something you're so conscious about. Yeah. And yeah, I just love this whole look together. So, so do bold. I. But you know, I started this show by saying, give me your dress. <laughs> Talk to me about yes, the you dress. Did. I At the end of the segment, I'm going online to buy it. But first, <laughs> tell, like, tell us about the sleeve situation on your dress and where you got it because I love it. I feel like I should be like standing like this, you like the should. red energy, you know. The, yes. But uh, I love this. It's from Anthropology, and I just want to okay. twirl in it all day. Yeah. It's the off the shoulder. So this is actually off the shoulder as well. If you just pull the sleeves down. Cute. But this is supposed to be this way. It's yeah. um. The bardo sleeve is what they used to call it back in the day. Yes. Now it's, again, the poof sleeve or off the shoulder. Sometimes you can also wear it um, on your shoulder if you would like. Yeah. And, yeah, I just love this style. It's sexy. It's feminine. 
Shows a little collarbone action, yes. but not too much, you know? I like this part of my body always. It mm -hmm. doesn't matter if I'm a size 14, 16, or a size 6. Like, I'm always going to love that. So I'm always looking for silhouettes that show that off. It's just, like, feminine it. and pretty. It just feels good. Yes. Yeah, and I, lo I love that area. And I love her. And she's got ruffles happening. Like, there's a lot happening in this look, and it is gorgeous. Also from Jamie's Closet. Yes, everything. <laughs> I know. At your house. I wasn't joking. I brought everything from my closet. So what I love about this dress is that not only is it off the shoulder, uh -huh. puff sleeve, but it also has ruffles, yes. which is super exciting, and a little bit of ruching too, of course. But again, like you would think that the ruffles would add to the volume of your arms. Yeah. But it does an amazing job, um, you know, creating that drama, that excitement, and that mm. you know exaggeration. But it's still kind of hiding what it needs to hide. That's right. It is hiding what it needs to hide. And you're highlighting everything else, <laughs> which is beautiful. Yes. Okay, Jamie, great looks. Thank you so much for that.